I don't know. Should they, I be in the middle? They were going to have us back with these guys, and then they canceled it and said no, be the last bad. time we appeared on Conan, we That's okay. broke some policy by not clearing so, some films we were showing in the background while we were playing or something. Broke what are you talking policy. about on Conan? Yeah, when we, we played on Conan. Did you see us on Conan? No. When yeah. we played, we had this uh, like a blue screen where uh -huh. they superimposed yeah. like a, uh, a shawarma, you uh -huh. know, like a, a gyro thing, you know? Uh -huh. Thing and it was great. On the yeah, and, and then we tried to get our, we tried to go back again, and CBS won't let us play on Conan or any other CBS thing because uh, they're afraid of the facts that we kick. You know, <laughs> because we, we broke some sort from of the rule streets. by having the the gyro stand in the back. Of us. Really? Yeah. They can't take the truth. Yeah. And did they? Didn't they have anything in your contract about no gyro? I don't know. It's like that's the whole point. We don't know. No, nothing. We just played. And right. They said it, it was for us. Even, yeah, we didn't even know it was going to happen. So. I don't even know. I never even saw the film with the gyro. So we were, it's it was because, on TV. It's because we're from the we, streets. Because we just had a blue <laughs> screen behind us. I didn't even know it. It's because we're hardcore from the streets. Yeah. So when was this? How long ago? I guess a year. Six years ago, it seems like. It's like a year. No, six years ago. Yeah. So you guys actually are back in Nashville start kicking off this tour and you recorded the album here. How did that, how did you pick Nashville? What happened? 12 Country, Golden Greats. Well, we were hanging out and we were with uh, Ben Vaughn, a friend of ours who produced the record. Mm -hmm. And we were thinking about doing this anyway and he's got a lot of ties down here. Mm -hmm. So he said, you know, I could get you really set up in Nashville relatively cheap. So we did it. That was it. And you guys have touched on um, a country thing before on specific mm -hmm. tunes on your past albums, right? Yeah, sure. Drifter in the Dark and, you know, stuff like that. So how did you come up with the concept to get these A-list old Sessions dudes to play on your album like Char Charlie McCoy? It's, cause, it's just because you can, you know. I mean, nobody really does. It, you know, nobody seems to really uh, come down here and make records anymore and it seems like after a while you wouldn't be able to anymore because these guys you know won't be doing it very long a couple of the guys we wanted retired you know so you know so what was their reaction to gigging with you guys i mean they played with elvis and dylan and um you know but you you play maybe a more eclectic kind of music than they're used to doing when you came down with these songs what was there, their reaction there was no real reaction i mean i don't even know if they remember playing on our record you know what I mean they, they, they make sessions all the time they're nice we all had a great time you know mm -hmm. but it's really they work really fast and it happened really fast and they're you know they're what not do you mean about by fast how long like they did their thing in three days and not even full days like six hour blocks you know mm -hmm. like six they hours listen to the record they listen to the song once and then they look at their charts and they play it and it was never any more than two takes you know and they just had it yeah Actually, all their parts, everything. In your bio, there's a chart right here that you yeah. show. What, tell, explain the significance of this chart. This is a Nashville number system. Uh -huh. This is, I think the Jordanaires developed this, and it's just only used in Nashville. You know, they can, they know what a whole song, they can play a whole song just based on these numbers. I mean, if you want to explain it further. Okay, breaking it down. <laughs> now, this is, they, um, it doesn't have the, the uh, notes in it, it just has the changes. So the song is in C, so they start and they play, and then they go to the five chord. You know, they start and they're on the one chord, and they go to the five chord, and so on and so on. And the idea is, is that because it's a number system and not the actual notes, they can play it in any key based on where the singer wants to sing it, because that's how they're used to working. So that's what. But the reason we put it in is just because it's really ridiculous to think that someone would transcribe Mr. Richard Smoker and write a horn chart. <laughs> for <laughs> That's yep. why it's in the bio. That's great. I, I, I don't even know what that says, really. I couldn't read that chart. The Nashville number system. Yeah. So, and you guys also recorded this out in Mount Juliet at a place called The Barn. What is it like to record out there? Do you Bradley walk out Barn. and just you go swimming mm. naked and stuff out there? No, it's, uh, it's Bradley's Barn, Bradley's which is like a yeah, legendary. Yeah, Owen Bradley. It was like there was no there was it was great there was nobody around there, you know it was just like there was no sense of time inside the studio because there were no windows to the outside you know they got one of Dale Earnhardt's race cars in the big room just sort of sitting right there mm -hmm. <laughs> got Elvis's piano in there you play Elvis's yeah. piano pretty neat RCA Studio B uh huh yeah so and you guys also 
stayed in the Shoney Inn while you were here, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't Shoney's. Yeah, Shoney's. Yeah, Shoney totally. Inn. Right, right, right. Right off Music Row. Right. And Shoney Inn is in one of your tunes also. Yeah. Yeah, written at the Shoney's, Japanese cowboy. Right. Uh-huh. After a 2.99 breakfast. <laughs> So what, do you, what did you guys do when you were here in Nashville? Did you go out to Honky Tonks and check out the Nashville scene while you were here, or were you just dog-tired recording the whole time? We checked out the basic, you know, a little strip down there, hung out at Wolfie's, uh -huh. just like that place. Broadway. We didn't do too much, really. I think we watched a lot of Jerry Springer or something new. <laughs> Remember doing that? Drank a lot of beer in the <laughs> hotel room. Yeah. That's what everybody in Nashville does. Yeah. yeah. Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jerry Springer. So, um, I hear that you guys are also very into cooking. Is that true? Mickey's into cooking. Yeah, we both Yeah, cook. we're into cooking, but it's not like you're not going to see us on the Food Network or anything like that anytime <laughs> soon. I mean, I just cook. I don't make anything too fancy. Yeah, like while that. watching football? Is that true? What's that? While watching football, you like to cook and watch football? Uh, sounds <laughs> like somebody told you some information <laughs> or something. I'm not really sure. Wrong information. Here. Inside information. Cook and cooking football. while yeah. watching That's football. That's what I basically do when I'm at home, yeah. To make crepes while the game is on. <laughs> so crepes are the recipe of choice. <laughs> the raspberry uh, vinaigrette. <laughs> So what other, you know, it's, you guys play so many different styles of music, you know. Someone was in my house this morning and um, I was listening to Chocolate and Cheese and they, were, they kept saying, this is the same band? This is the same band? You know, when we were 10 songs into it, where do you pull all that from when you're changing almost your entire style from tune to tune? On the country record? No, yeah. no, no. On, your, Just in on general? Chocolate Good and answer. Cheese. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's that's just a I'm you know we're influenced by a lot of different stuff. Uh -huh. You never think out. about that stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like yeah. who? Do you like Zappa? No, no, I, I actually no. can't stand Zappa. I don't like Zappa. But, but the thing is though is we don't we don't try and do that. I mean it's like we got six albums out. You know what I mean? They're all like that. Well, right. except this one. But I mean we just have never. That to me is what Ween sounds like. You know, it's not. It just sounds like Ween to my ears. You mm -hmm. know. We don't sit down, you know, we'd be a real bunch of homos if we sat down and went like, all right, let's do like a funky song, you know. No, let's do a metal song, you know. It's like, that's pretty beat, you know. It's good music or whatever will transcend all that anyway, you know. Right. So but we'll probably be answering that question after like 15 albums still, you know, or whatever. Uh -huh. but. Who do you guys like to go see? Do you like fish by any chance? No. no? I, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard. I've never heard what they do. I think I've heard like one song, so I don't really know. I think they're really boring. Based on nice the nice guys, but they're really boring. Yeah, I, I don't really know. I was know. thinking for some reason that you guys had opened a show for Fish at some point. We almost a few years did. Ago. We almost played on an uh, Air Force base in northern Vermont this yeah. summer with them. Uh -huh, that was recently. Yeah, it was like this two-day thing that they were doing, which would have been fun. They're really nice guys. Yeah, Trey's yeah. actually, I've interviewed Trey, and he's talked about how much he likes your music. Yeah, yeah. So. I've talked to him on the phone a mess of times, but I've never, I've never heard their band. Like it's... Mm -hmm. So, um, who is Nicole? Uh, it's an ex Not that that's on this album necessarily, but... Uh, an ex-girlfriend. Uh-huh. And you like her now, or no? <laughs> do, do I like her now? Yeah. Sure, sure I do. Yes. <laughs> So who wrote, how did Piss Up a Rope come, come along? Um, I wrote that number. <laughs> I wrote that selection. That, I don't remember, I, I, I guess, um, my dad always used to say the words Piss Up a Rope. And then, um, it was written before we were, there was gonna be a Nashville record or any of that. That song was, we played that like every night on the Chocolate and Cheese Tour. It's just something, you know, something for my baby. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's about his girlfriend. Uh-huh. Who's been living with for about five years. Uh-huh. Your baby. So, have you guys had the experience of he hearing yourself at all on country radio? No. no. Have you? No. Yeah, I don't think we have been <laughs> played you know, at all. We don't listen to much country radio. Do you, I, do I think what that? I heard is that we were on some morning show, some like morning show DJs play it because it's funny, you know, and they edit it or whatever. Uh, right. What, the paper? Piss up a rope? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they, and they edit it. Right. But there's no, there's no single from the record or anything like that, so it's really left it up to them to, you know, first a country 
program director would have to <coughs> discover the Ween CD, uh -huh. discover Piss Up a Rope, edit it, and play it, you know what I mean? So we didn't waste any time. We figured we weren't going to get played on country radio anyway, so we yeah. didn't really, I don't think the record label tr even tried. Right. You know? So this is the beginning of this tour, and it's starting in Nashville. And a lot of people probably think that you might have some of your sessions players here. Explain who's actually on the road with you right now. Most, uh, mostly everybody. The only person who's on the record is Bobby Ogden. Mm -hmm. um, he's our band leader. He's the band leader, yeah. And then we've got Stu on, on, uh, on pedal steel. And we've got a guy named Hank on fiddle. And you got Danny, Parks, Danny, yeah. Danny Parks on guitar. That's about it. And then Claude Coleman, our normal drummer, and Matt Cohut, who's from New Jersey. He used to play with Fish. Actually. Oh. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Forgot about uh -huh. <laughs> so you must have heard some good stories, you know, when you were recording with these guys that have been playing for so many years. Yeah, we heard a lot of stories. Any that you care to share? Or you any could probably just out? ask Bobby or something. Oh, really? <laughs> I feel sort of weird yeah, talking, re-relating re their stories. It's just that kind of stuff has to stay in those walls. Yeah, I don't know. We asked Charlie McCoy a lot about the about Blonde on Blonde and doing those Dylan yeah. records. He told us a lot of Dylan stuff, yeah. some Leonard Cohen stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. He was saying they, because he, they played on, uh, Pig and Charlie played on like Sounds of Silence and a bunch of other stuff on CBS, you know. But a, a few of the Simon Garfunkel things, I think I'm a Rock and The Boxer, and it's pretty intense. And he was talking about that, saying that they. They had to do it like, you know, 175 times, like almost identical takes. Well, Paul so Simon, Paul would, Simon, Paul Simon would black out for a week, like the studio, just to get a certain tom-tom <laughs> drum sounding correct, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. so it's stuff like that. Perfection and in, in pursuit of perfection. Yeah. What is that noise? That was a fax or something. Oh, yeah. We have to sound check point. pretty soon, I think. So. Okay, great. Let me just double check. Can you explain your relationship real quick with Andrew Weiss? Weiss? Weiss. Weiss. Just a friend of ours who, who uh, usually mixes and produces our records. Mm -hmm. And he's played with Henry Rollins also? Uh-huh. He's mixing our new record right now. Our new record's done. Yeah. What is your new, your new record? 12? Yeah. Okay. No, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, there's another album that's done. When we started before we even did this that we've been working on for about eight months. So you guys just churn them out, don't you? Well, we... we Sort of, we, we would like to. This year we'll be churning them out. There'll be a few things coming out. Yeah. We did a record also with uh, the, bo the uh, Boredoms, and that, and that uh, should yeah, be coming Mitsuko. out. So, yeah. so that'll come out, and then the new Ween record. What do you notice about your audience? Is your audience pretty, pretty diverse, you think? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, it's I'd say so. We get a lot of, we get anywhere from 10 year olds to 40 year olds coming to the shows, mm -hmm. which is great. It'll be interesting to see if you have longtime fans that show up and are confused. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we've never played Nashville before at all, so I have no idea. I have a pretty good idea of what to expect in like Chicago or whatever, because yeah. we've played there a million times. Yeah. I mean, people that show up and maybe don't realize that you're doing a whole country album. Well, I would. I mean, we're on tour. Our, our record just came out. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like they, if they, you know, we're not gonna. We're not we're out supporting chocolate and cheese. You know, we, yeah. we play some. We play some other stuff too. There's only ten songs on our record. I mean, right. you know. So, you so even if we play every stuff. song on the record, that's ten songs. You know. Yeah. We right. usually play we're like playing thirty. About, we're so. playing about twelve other songs. Dead old songs. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, I wish you guys luck on this tour. Let me just make sure I'm not missing something that we want to know. Do you have any questions, Zach, before we wrap? Okay, great, you guys. Thank you. Right on. Before thank you, you move, can we get an ID for Bone TV? Oh, uh, sure. Sure. What is it? Bone Hi, I'm Gene Ween. I'm Dean Ween of Ween. Of Ween. <laughs> You're watching Bone TV. Okay, give us one more for safety. Hi, I'm Gene Ween. I'm Dean Ween. And you're watching Bone TV. <laughs> Thank you guys. Country Grades Tour featuring Bobby Ogden and the Shit Creek Boys. I even have a stand. I even went and bought shirts. What's going on? You've 
it. You got it. You got it, baby. You got it. You got it, baby. All right. How are we all doing here? All set? All right, this first song is from the new record. It's called uh, Pretty Girl by Ween. Memphis once, but never in Nashville. This is a song off our new record that's coming out in the beginning of the year. Uh. This is called Booze Me Up and Get Me High. Soothe the bird. 
What? Right, come on. We got a long set here in front of us. Danny, cool take us home, Danny. It's you, Danny, right? All righty. <laughs> to be me she takes all my money and leaves me no smokes yells at my buddies and insults my folks i'm breaking my back doing the best that i can she's got time for the dog and none for me and i'm no dope but i can't cope so hit the fucking road and piss up the road but you can pass up the road and you can put on your shoes if the road gets rough up a rope Oh, you can piss up a rope and feel the pissy dribble You can piss up a rope and watch me giggle For the last six months I've been packing your bag You can wash my balls with a warm, wet rag Till my balls feel smooth and soft like silk I'm sick of your mouth and your two percent milk And I'm no dope, but I've lost all hope So hit the fucking road and piss up a rope Pass up a rope and you can put on your shoes if the road gets you. Pack your bags, I don't need the egg on your knees, you big booty bitch, stop sucking. You'll ride my ass like a horse and a saddle, now you're up shit creek with a turd for a paddle. And I can't cope with piss up a rope. the mic. Thank you. You like that. That's cool. Pretty funny. Playing in Nashville with our Nashville band. Pretty cool shit. 
You! Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you? This song, this next song is called uh, Japanese Cowboy. <laughs> like a Japanese cowboy. <laughs> At Shoney's at two ninety nine, saved me some money and eased up my mind. I'm walking in circles and feeling the pain. I'm tossing and turning and crying in vain. Like a Japanese cowboy Or a brother on skates Like a blizzard in Georgia Or a train running late I called out your name, girl In the heat of the night And nobody answered Cause something ain't right in the line From the rain in my windshield And the tears in my eyes Now the bedroom is empty And I spent my last time And the lovers are leaving I got nothing but time I got you on my mind like a Japanese cowboy Or a brother on skates Like a blizzard in Georgia Or a train running late I called out your finger In the heat of the night Nobody answered But something ain't right 